Hi guys, my name is Asad and in this video, I'm gonna show you how I created this effect. Which is inspired after this effect from Gibson Heather. The effect in itself is very simple and easy to do, but there are a few tricks and few uh, things that I did which I'm gonna show you in this video and it can help you make it look a little better. So let's jump into Premiere and let me show you how it's done. So the very first thing that you need to do is put all the clips that you're gonna be using for this project in one timeline. The very first clip that is your main clip, after that, the clips that you're gonna be applying this effect to should be three frames long to get the optimal effect. Once you put everything in the sequence, which I already did in this case, I'm gonna go to my first clip of three frames and I'm gonna select the first frame of that clip and I'm gonna apply a scale keyframe on the first frame of the clip. And then I'm gonna go to the last frame and I'm gonna raise it to 200. So what that's doing is, is starting from normal, which is like 100% zoom to 200% zoom uh when it goes from first frame to the last and we're gonna apply the same effect to all of these uh clips in the timeline so let's just keep on doing that And you don't have to do 200 uh, that's my personal preference but you know uh, you can play around with the settings and see what works best for you So let's just do that. And basically once you are done with that, you you have the effect, you are done with that. But as I mentioned, like, you know, we're gonna try to make it a little bit better. So uh, after you are done with all of these, you know, uh, keyframes for the scale, we are gonna try to go and do another thing. We are gonna add a blur to all of these clips in the sequence which are zooming in so we get like a you know better kind of motion when we are looking at it so you can pick any kind of blur like there are other ways of doing that too you can use uh, select all these clips and go into after effects and create a after effect composition and basically get the motion blur from there but since we don't have after effects we are just working with premiere i'm going to use directional blur and there's a neat trick basically you just have to apply the effect on the first one i'm going to uh, put the directional blur on the first one as you can see and then i'm going to play with some settings here so we're going to again do key framing here too i'm going to go to the second frame or third frame again depending on what you guys are looking after in my per, per, my my case i'm going to be going with the second frame of each clip and I'm going to be putting some directional blur on uh, each clip. So basically we put 75 and like, you know, around 30, 35, which is fine. Once we do that, uh, I'm going to also, you know, uh, ease in on these keyframes so that it goes through smoothly. And then I'm gonna copy this and I'm gonna apply this to all of the clips that I'm using for the zoom effect onto the timeline. And here you go, like it's gonna keep on going and keep on applying this. And you see that, let me just slow it down a little better and like show you that how does it look when you slow it down so that you can see like the frame where we applied the blur it's blending in really well because you're zooming in and it's blending in 
as you can see it's bringing that blur in the next step you could do is like do some color grading so in my case i have applied my custom LUTs and custom color grading so that's basically why my clip is looking different so i can make a video about that too if you are interested in color grading and learning more about that so let me know in the comments down below on top of everything that we've done like the very very important thing that i would suggest when you're using this kind of effect is sound effects in this case i'm using the sound effects from epidemic sound again i'm not sponsored by epidemic sound in any way or form but i've been using their services for last year they have a full variety of all kinds of sound effects and it really really makes your video look good guys this was first of my premiere pro series that i'm going to be starting on a weekly basis i'm going to try to come up with new tutorials new transitions new effects that i am learning and i'm going to be you know showing you how to do them as well in premiere pro and i'm going to break it down in the easiest way so that you can learn it quickly and start applying these things to your own projects and videos on that note, if you liked this video and learned anything of value from today's you know, content that we showed you, please make sure to hit that subscribe button and like this video. Please give me your feedback in your comments down below so that we can keep improving you know, our content and keep coming up with new videos every week. I'm going to leave my Instagram information down below in the description and also I will leave a link to my Lightroom preset playlist which I have created over the last six months and you can go check it out and each video have a free preset for you to download. I am going to see you guys next week with another video. On that note, stay safe and goodbye.